Okay, so I actually had time today. It's during the week, so I can't exactly stay up late. It's 5.06 p.m. In a little bit here, I might want to go grab some food. I need to turn on the game capture for the right game here. It would probably not be a bad idea. Because I have not eaten since getting home, so I'll probably want to do that later. And I was like, well, I have a little bit of time to do a stream. What game should I stream? Oh, how about Persona 3 where it's like cutscene movie half the time anyway. And then if I go and grab food, I can just like keep playing anyway. Who even cares at this point? <laughs> this is my mentality here. I was originally going to stream some uh, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, which is another game that I haven't touched since Fragapalooza. It's, it's been a crazy past month. Can I pull up the uh, Twitch video producer? What all have I streamed? Since? Why is my taskbar turning into the game? That seems odd. Anyway, what all have I done since Fragapalooza? It has been a month since the event now. Oh, now my taskbar returns to normal. Okay. I finished off Metroid Prime. I did one stream of Elden Ring and did a whole bunch of stuff there. I beat Unicorn Overlord. Um, I did one stream of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. There was progress towards beating Metroid Prime 2. And then, yeah, that's that's all I've done since since Fragapalooza, which isn't which isn't exactly a massive massive ton. So yeah, I streamed AC Odyssey once, uh, twice on Metroid Prime Two, technically twice, but it was in the same day for Unicorn Overlord. Once with Elden Ring, and yeah, I honestly have not really had a massive ton of stream time in the in the past month here. So Persona Three Reload and press Alt Z to use GeForce Experience in-game overlay. Ah, yes, I definitely should do that. So I haven't really had much time to get on top of things like I thought I would immediately after Frag. So yeah, it's been a hot second. Hello, hello, Delta thingy, and hello as well, Redora Master. Hope things are going well today. Things are going pretty all right here. Just keeping busy with all sorts of projects around here, though. One of the reasons why I haven't been able to stream a whole lot lately is because I've been trying to wrap up the most recent video essay that I've been working on since, like, December of... Why did I stop here? Oh, because I wanted to get the skill card duplicated, and it's Sunday right now. Anyway, uh, I couldn't stream all that much in the past month because I was trying really frantically to wrap up, like, the next big video essay project, and it's pretty much, pretty much done. Like, um just proof watching it like once or twice more just to make sure but it's mostly done so that'll be out very soon so that's a, been another thing that's been taking up my time but yeah i have a few hours today so it's like screw it let's just do some persona 3 is what we'll do bought a wii u and it arrived yesterday so you're doing pretty good nice nice got a decent few games for that how expensive are wii u games right now anyway are they at the phase now where they're like super cheap they haven't started to like go up in price or anything have they hello hello jenny good evening just waiting for an ad to end to see what you're playing today uh, so many ads <laughs> yes i'm gonna get like one penny out of that why is my camera angled so high by the way i'm gonna get like a whole singular penny out of those out of those ad watches it's gonna be so good I don't know why Twitch up the amount of ads and like ads is so little revenue for especially small creators like me where it's like yes I'm getting like a penny or two from time to time uh what do you want from me what do you want from me uh they're trying to sell me things what do I want to do today wait I need to remember how to play this game I haven't touched it since frag someone wants to hang out with me over here apparently and it's it's the guy in front of the fountain right Whoa, it's actually loading. That usually it's just smooth. Yeah, this guy wants to hang out with me. I'm rank six with him. Wait, what are my what are my ranks at for the different dudos? I'm at four with them, so I can bring that up. I'm at eight with you, so I'm almost maxed out here. The this guy I'm at six, but yeah, agree. Finally caught that. What with ads and stuff. <laughs> but how are things going today? tried this game recently it's called pokemon close combat it's a 2d pokemon fighting game in the style of street fighter are you sure you're not talking about pokemon tournament and it's only got fighting types okay so it's like a fan game not the like the real thing revolved there fighting types is the characters you can choose from it's pretty fun your main is breloom interesting do you recommend it as a game you can just pick up and play on occasion sounds kind of fun there but yeah let's see here kevin identify you're playing persona 3 i am indeed here this game, like, the original game came out in, like, 2006, something like that. But this remake came out, like, February, and I'm, like, at roughly the halfway mark from what I've heard from people. Like, 
<laughs> my schedule has made it really, really difficult to get a lot of time in. Plus, with this game being so long, what are my hours in it now? 38. Steam says I'm at 47. <laughs> so I don't know if those are just like erase timelines of me needing to like refight or redo sections or something like that. But that much time and at about the halfway mark, like I knew this was going to be long after I played P5, but holy crap, this is going to take me like either until the end of the year or until next year to beat. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, have, have you seen the PS5 Pro Hoopla? I sure have. And now that I own a PlayStation 5 myself, I am so ready to spend a thousand dollars Canadian on a new console with marginal upgrades and still very few exclusive games. There, wait. Hold on. Is there anything that I want to do here that I still have time for? I... I don't know. I'll just go hang out with someone. Say halfway probably date-wise. Okay, so I'm getting there. And if I have more time to commit in the coming months as my game schedule gets a little bit lighter, then I can put more time into it and I can get more on top of things here, hopefully. But yeah, $700 for a console with no games. Yep, that's, that's right. <laughs> There have been a decent few memes that I've been accumulating in my going live memes folder just for like PlayStation 5 specifically. <laughs> one of my favorite ones is this one where it's like a single page of some sort of comic where this one person is saying to their friend like, oh, you can play some of my PlayStation 5 games if you get bored, gesturing to a shelf and there's nothing on the shelf. There's, <laughs> it just, it just kind of cracked me up. Um, but yeah, $700 disc less, 800 with disc add on. Oh, Sony, just trying to recoup their losses after Concord or something here? Um, and heard of Close Combat, saw the Ty Rogue trailer. I have not heard of it myself, though. That playtime is actually insane, holy shit. And it was a lot longer when I played P5, but I had more time when I was playing P5. I started, like, Persona 3 literally in the middle of my final semester of university, so that wasn't exactly a great recipe there. And then I was gone for, like, a month after graduating, and then I got back, and then it was right into work work stuff and, and a lot of other projects around here and I was not expecting to still be playing this game by now never mind being like halfway done but yeah if you want saying playtime you should look at your XD playtime you max it out like Pokemon XD on the GameCube do you mean wait do I have a uh, I think it's Hierophant Persona uh no I have Moon and the other one was Hermit but I'm almost done with Hermit. Maybe I'll just hang out with this guy is maybe what I'll do. I'm gonna need to pull up my guide about like the right options and stuff. But yeah, and yep, geez. Currently replaying the game on hard. Tried Merciless, but just wasn't having fun. But following 100% guide because you want to get the achievements. That's fair. Yeah, like part of me feels kind of bad of like, oh man, I'm not gonna be getting like all these links and stuff maxed out when I'm playing on Merciless. But at the same time, it's like, uh, I've just kind of stopped caring. Some of the fights are kind of insane on Merciless. The last boss that I faced was kind of awful, and I think I got really lucky to be able to beat it. But hey, I made it through, and that's what matters. Even if Astrobot is a great game, 700 to play it is not even worth it. I've heard good things about Astrobot. I've seen like a lot of gameplay clips going around. Where's what was that one site that I was using? Persona 3 Reload. I'd like to make progress today. <laughs> so let's hang out with people and advance these days. Persona 3 Reload. Uh, it's not confidant. Um, social links guide. I think I was using RPG site. Yeah. And then if I control F for moon, because that's his arcana and we go there. So I'm at rank six going to rank seven. So for this one, I need to say the world is ending and then he's going to like me more is, uh, is apparently what I got to do on this one. All right, let's go hang out. Wonderful, my girl, my friend. To be honest, I need to talk to you today. So we need a spot where you can eat good meat and chat. And I know just the place. Glad to hear it. I'm about to tell you his top secret. Auto advance. I gotta remember. Only, okay. okay. This world if I want a thumbnail shot, I can grab it there. <laughs> so. Be completely wiped out. But don't worry. We'll be recreating it as a new land for the survivors. Paradise. Man, the amount of game well, plots that this could be right now. Your mind. Uh, the world is ending? Yeah, I definitely want higher offenses. Hey, the persona gives. Wait, 1.51 times social link EXP? Secret. You don't want to start a mass panic. What? In paradise, everyone has wings and perfect. I heard online that's one of the ones that you should do last because they're like available all the time. 
But if the thing that you, if the persona you get for maxing them out is more progress faster on the other social links, well, maybe next time I see them available, I'll go buy a Hierophant persona and then I'll go hang out with them some more. Don't do it because you're my subject, okay? Well, hopefully we'll be able to rank up immediately after most of these things anyway by doing the uh, the right options. We're becoming better friends now. Look at how close we are. We're rank seven with this moon guy with the lobster on top. We're so dang close. Okay. So how about this? okay. Fees, and other products, uh, Wait, all personas gives 1.51 times according to the guide. You take out a loan, right? Wait. Not to mention, you'll get a what exactly does this mean then? Like you max out any? <laughs> you are one lucky guy. Will that only affect new game plus then? Do you mean that if you have like? the the persona of that arcana that you unlock from maxing them out then they can just like make progress on getting them faster in future playthroughs because if you have to get the rank 10 you get the special higher event persona that gives you additional social link points only for the higher event persona like if that's what that means or does it just give it for like all things like what is what does this mean exactly um wait not to mention you'll get a discount since I'll be referring you to your one lucky guy. This sounds like some sort of a cult. That's insane! Also, when you're playing Persona 5 Royal the other... You're the insane one with that sinful mouth of yours! <laughs> yeah, definitely a cult here. <laughs> I was playing Persona 5 Royal the other day, very excited that you can summon Orpheus and Izanagi, Persona 4 protagonist Persona. I decided to hold off on summoning them because they automatically had a higher level. They didn't want to make the game that easy. Yeah, there are definitely some ways that you can like jank it over and make it a lot easier if you really want to i mean having a persona of the same arcana as the link you get i got you just having a matching persona at all like i misinterpreted what you were saying before as uh i definitely want to make progress on the hierophant social link because they give me a persona that gives the thing or bob i'm just getting a email now from my bank you've been pre-approved for a thousand dollars in overdraft protection no thanks Oh, hello. Come to think of it, have you heard about B Blue V? Isn't that that club where I hang out with that monk guy? It's a shop in Paulina Mall, but there's a rumor you can talk to spirits. Oh, it's a different place. Sounds a little sketchy, huh? I wonder what kind of shop it is. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen it. Is the game lagging? Like, what's with the frame rate today? This does not look very smooth. Anyone want to hang out? What am I doing? Oh my goodness. I guess I just need to pick up a PS5 Pro and then I'll be able to play it super smoothly. But yeah, I thought you'd just pop it in and say hi though. Gotta get going, take care and have fun. Appreciate you popping in here, Jenny. Hope you have an awesome rest of the day. Someone wants to hang out here. Hope things go well. Uh, who wants to hang out here? I guess I could have checked my phone. I'm on the second floor. I'll be on the couch on the second floor today. If you'd like to go to Tartarus, please look for me there. Also, who are the missing persons right now, out of curiosity? Bulletin board. Yeah, so everyone's rescued right now. So I can wait until... I think there's another group of people that I need to rescue before the next thing. So apparently getting top of your class on the exam gives you 1.51 times. I don't know if it's for the next link or permanent, but just following with the guide once. Huh. Maybe it's just, like, that amount of social points to your charm, I think it would be, then? Over what you would get normally? Or something like that out of curiosity persona three reload all missing persons i just want to see here with a date oh i just clicked the first one i didn't even notice it was an ign one gross whatever um so 11 days left it is currently that's august then 26th so apparently someone is gonna go missing on on august 29th so in a few days and someone's going to go missing on September 3rd? Like, when the... The date of the next full moon is September 4th. So I need to go to Tartarus on September 3rd if I want to rescue that person? So I should just wait until, like, the day before to go there? I mean, maybe I should go there once more before just to, like, grind up levels. Then I get two Tartarus trips before the next boss. Considering the last boss was actually exceptionally hard. But that was also because I didn't have the right items and stuff but yeah ps is crushing over the pre-order sweet and wanted to oh is that something that's coming out here soon uh what is this here ign gross also sweet and never played them i gotta stop them from disappearing you can change the future like shulk yeah if only 
Um, about the treatment? What is this? Our special 3,000 yen program will cleanse your soul and send you to heaven. Uh, face your inner self and bring out that which lies deep within you. I might be able to recall a forgotten persona skill if I undergo the treatment at this door. Oh, that's what the thing is. I don't need to do that right now. So if there's someone that wants to hang out here, is it the monk? And what arcana was the monk? But is Harmonia really feeling it? I don't know if I am right now. Maybe sometime later, I'll be really feeling it. What do you want? You're killing my buzz here. I grow closer to the monk soon. But what was he? He was tower. Oh yeah, didn't I not want to hang out with him because I just didn't have like a tower persona at all, I think? I can check really quickly if there's any I can buy. But I think I just don't have any tower personas like at all right now. Let me just check in here really quickly. Let's have a bit of a look-see. You know, on the topic of Xenoblade, when I've browsed around 3D printing models for games that I like, like Xenoblade, just to see what kinds of things people have made models for, people have designed, like, full-size models of... I, al I almost said of the Xenoblade, of the Monado, where you print them in pieces and then you assemble it together to get, like, one full Monado. And... I thought like, wow, that'd be really cool to try 3D printing one day. And I do have a lot of red filament specifically for if I want to try that one day. The main centerpiece with like the circle for the Monado symbols. I don't know if my build plate is big enough to hold. So I might have to scale it down very slightly or get my cousin's help to print that one specific piece that's just a decent bit bigger. And I thought like, oh, that would actually be like really cool. I'll make a really cool cosplay one day. But I don't think I could see myself going as Shulk. Like I'm... I'm way too different from him with my uh, mostly long hair that's not his hair color. I could put on a wig like I do for N and the whole this situation that's going on now. But do you know what would be really cool? Would be Dunban as a cosplay. And that would actually work really well for also having the Monado. That would work perfectly. So one day I might honestly try to do a Dunban cosplay for fun. But I would need to take time into making... Yeah, I don't have anything or bubs. Into making the actual Monado and then putting some close stuff together for an actual cosplay that I would be able to get my little cousin's help with because she has experience with that kind of thing. But I think that'd be really, really cool being able to go as like a Dunban cosplay. I think that'd be awesome. But I, <laughs> I need to take time to print that and take time to actually assemble it. I have all the parts printed for like a fully functional, a fully functional dual action hidden blade from Assassin's Creed. But it's just like really technical and weird to assemble and so I've just had the parts lying around and I haven't assembled it properly. I made some very slight progress towards assembling it and I just haven't really. Uh, so, I don't know if I'd find myself able to assemble like a full Monado if I'm not even assembling the hidden blade that I already have printed out. Um, hi. You just signed as a robot, right? You really can't tell whether she wears normal clothes like we do. Creature group must be super powerful to have invented a robot like her. Yeah, I guess so. Speaking of Shulk, got an amiibo of Shulk and me brawler recently. Nice. We honest, thought it was gonna be like a full model of like Mithra for something that is like a 3D printing design. I haven't seen any of those. Like the only full model I've seen is, actually I've seen two full models. One is of, I'm such a big Xenoblade fan. And for whatever reason tonight specifically, my brain wants to say the Xenoblade and not the Monado. Um, I've seen a full model of the Monado and I've seen a full one of Lucky Seven. But I've only seen like a full model of Lucky Seven as like one piece of like the full normal blade, not the smaller blade inside the sheath. I have seen a model of that, but it's a paid model where you have to shell out to get the 3D model to do it. But someone has made an actual 3D printable model of the Lucky Seven inside like the full sheath that you can pull out, which is really, really cool. But I would need to take time to actually make that and I need to pay for the model and stuff. So like the free model I've seen is just like the full regular sword, but that's just uh, that's just one piece. You can't uh, you can't unsheath the lucky seven from it. So sure, sure, let's do that. I guess grab that book for you. It's like that your favorite characters are blonde, so you can't cosplay them without like a wig or dyeing your hair. Yeah, that's how I feel about N. And I've tried to do like temporary dyes on my hair before, like the kind of thing that I'll just wash out, so not having to bleach my hair. But my hair is too dark. I can't do it. I just get like little hints of green in my hair <laughs> for a couple days when I've tried to do that in the past. So I've just started using like a wig for N. But then you have like my full length hair that's the same length as N's tucked into my two layers of shirts because there's like his black shirt and then the white shirt on top. And it gets really, really extremely warm. You know, I am really feeling that. 
I take it back. I am Shulk after all. It becomes easier to bear when you consider it something everyone has to go through. Or is it presumptuous of me to relate to such illustrious figures? Sorry, I didn't mean to distract from our reading. Shall we get back to it? No, we should look at 3D printing designs is what we should totally do now. Um, let's see here. Absolutely a cosplay Ricky, but only if you have a friend who would cosplay done better. How would you cosplay Ricky? I guess just like a human Ricky in that case. If I go to, I think it was printables that had the thing or Bob. Let's see here. If I turn on display capture, flash contest, soaring trays. I think it was one of the ones here. That's not it. Maybe I just need to look up Xenoblade. I thought it was on a, if I just look up Xenoblade, I think it's one of the ones there. People have made like the flutes. An auto sword. Really? I swear there was more things on uh, on this. I know there's more on Thingiverse. If only I could spell. Thingiverse. Crap. You know what? That's actually it. Oh! I'm saving that. I'm locked. Yeah, I'm logged in, right? Okay. Uh, Xenoblade. That's actually one of my favorite things to print is the keep it crab. I have one of these on my desk at work. Keep out crab. What? Is it spelled like with a K or something? Or it's spelled in one word. I mean, there's a keep it frog now too. I guess I never noticed that. Yeah, I have one of these on my desk at work. And sometimes I give them out as like gifts to people when I just want something generic to 3D print. That's kind of fun. And I just put like a pen in his, in his hands, in his claws, whatever. His big, meaty claws. What all have people made for Xenoblade? There's this. I don't know if this is the one that... I'm, oh, maybe it is the one that I'm thinking of. This is just a new image with it. That is pretty darn cool. Let's face it. Um, Daiso Joe mentioned the goat of SMT Nocturne. Wait, what? <laughs> For crab stuff? Whoa. I don't think I've seen this. This thing is still a work in progress. That's pretty cool, though. 26 files. Yeah, so that's like, you gotta take it like a whole weekend to make that. That is pretty darn cool, though. I quite like that. I'm, I'm saving that. Um, I have printed out core crystals before. I think I have one around here somewhere. And like a transparent blue filament. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff on Thingiverse. I think that the Monado design that I was thinking of was actually in like the beginning there. I've saved a couple of these stencils because I was thinking about like printing some of them out to send to that Nishara nerd when I was sending stuff to Germany, but I didn't actually end up printing out any. I printed a little Max stencil to go to these hands from Fragapalooza when sending the uh, friggin' gold 3D printed metal. That he didn't get the chance to pick up at the actual event. This is something that I've printed a couple of. I gave one to Guzma and I sent one to that Nishar nerd in Germany. Where it's like you can print the grass stand and then put the Monado in it. And I printed it in multiple colors. So it's like you've got like stone here and then dirt here and then the green of the grass. And it actually turns out pretty good. And then you 3D print a little Monado and put it in there. This is not Xenoblade. Like what? <laughs> this is not that. Anyway, I think the thing I was thinking of was the this considering i have it saved so like it's gotta be that this has to be the one that i was thinking of but this is just like a new photo for it. i appreciate the follow there kane hmm i sure wonder who that could be just discussing 3d printing stuff right now and what cool things are out there um one really cool thing that i've printed this twice now i mean one of them is here where it didn't quite turn out all that great where is the uh the master sword that I'm thinking of here? Can I sort by like most liked? Hold on. Most popular? Will it be that? This. This is a fun print here. This I did have like a full scale one of these, but that's one of the things I sent off to Germany for Nishara recently because he sent me Pyra and Mithra amiibo that I couldn't quite get here. Where it's like it prints in these pieces and it assembles. This one did not turn out super great because it's supposed to friction fit. And it friction fit too tight. All the pieces snapped when I put them together. So this little one chilling in the base is like my failed version of it that just chills here. But something like this would be like a really, really cool Fragapalooza prize or something like that. It's just so much work on my end to do all these pieces and then assemble everything there. So the dragons are like a super nice middle ground of doing these for Frag. Where I can just print them in one go and then it's done and then people like them as opposed to these that are like full weekend projects. But it's fun and I like it. And one day maybe I'll print like a full one for myself because there is a version of it that isn't friction fit that I can actually print, which is the one that I sent to Germany. Where is the... I don't know. It's somewhere. 
there is a version where it just fits loosely and then you have to use a bunch of glue. Because the friction fit version here did not work well for me. All the pieces just cracked on slotting them together because the friction was too tight. Whoops. Dang it, I just pressed M1 to get rid of the mouse cursor and now I, what did you say? Um. That was a pleasant time together. It sure was. but the sound of each other's pages. <laughs> and me rambling about 3D printing. Uh, one thing I hate about Persona after playing SMT is that early in the game, the buffs and debuffs are all single target on a timer and don't stack. Oh. Look, I'm getting a little bit, a little bit smarter. I'd like to hear but yeah, you can do more stuff with them later at least. Time. But yeah, there are some really, really cool things that you can do with like cosplays with 3D printing. Another cool thing I've seen, I think it was on printables is someone has made models for all of Raiden's armor from Metal Gear Rising for cosplay purposes, which is really, really cool. Hello, Locane. How's it going today? Hello. We're just doing some uh, Persona 3 today. Just big chilling. Special training for track and field begins today. It's about time to leave. Wait, there's a special thing going on today? 